Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing the Kron Vagen. Finally, after um, quite a bit of delay, I did finally get this tank. I had to earn up the credits for it and such. But now we're going to finally have the review here of the Kron Vagen. And I actually like it. I enjoy it. It's um, better than what I was expecting. I was expecting, honestly, that I was, I was not expecting to like it. That was the same for the email too, just off of the reviews and how a lot of people um, had their opinions on it. But honestly, I enjoy this tank quite a bit, just due to the fact of that massive burst damage, of course, and that amazing turret you have. So right off the bat, you are sitting at 200, I mean 2,650 HP, which is quite healthy for the size of this tank. I mean, this is a really small tank, just like all of the others in the line. And of course, you have that amazing turret armor, 225 millimeters, along with that amazing angle, of course, which makes it completely impenetrable. As long as... As well, your hull actually is pretty well armored, and of course your sides and rear are paper and can be HE. But, I mean, when you're going hull down, this thing is just unstoppable. It is really a beast. Now, of course, it is the one drawback of this tank. Well, there's two drawbacks. The, of course, the DPM and the mobility. They're both not the best, especially the DPM. I'm pretty sure this is the lowest tier 10 heavy DPM in the game. That's pretty bad. The reload between shots, I mean right off the bat, 3.53 seconds is just, that's pretty horrific. Not to mention the reload for each time, I mean look at that shell reload, 12 and a half seconds, almost 10 seconds, 10 and a half seconds. It is an extremely long reload, but you do, when you do get those reloaded and you get out that full clip, all three shells, it is really amazing. As well, your penetration is not bad, 258 on the APCR, your heat is very good at 340 millimeters. And your high explosive is 16 millimeters. Of course, you do have 400 alpha and um, kind of an interesting thing here. You have 515 HE instead of just 500. The accuracy is average, 4.4 second aim time, dispersion 0.369. Not the best, not the worst. And of course, you have beautiful 9 degrees of gun depression. And um, you are slow on the mobility side, though, with only 25 kilometer an hour um, average speed. So we're going to be jumping into some live gameplay here, and I really am enjoying this tank going hold down on a map, a map like this. I mean, the tank is really, really good at it. The one drawback, of course, is whenever you um, are on a clip reload, people can really rip you apart because it does take so long to get up to that full. I mean, when you're on that last shell, if you're trying to shoot all the time, you're sitting at like a almost 13 second reload in pretty much everything else in the game has way, way better DPM than you. So, as you see, we're probably going to get up here, and we're probably only going to have two shells loaded. Um, that's why I didn't hit the um, engine boost, because uh, there's really no reason. You're just going to probably waste um, your DPM if you do that on a map like this. But one of the nice things, do compensate for the very slow um, top speed of this in average speed, is that it does have the engine boost like all the other tanks and of course it does have that reticle calibration as well but honestly on an auto loader that is kind of pointless so i'm gonna see if i can get some shells into this kpf without getting sniped by any campers we're gonna risk going for another one and yeah probably shouldn't have gone for that second one i should have realized that there's always campers and yeah right after i'm spotted they are going to focus me so that was a little bit of a mistake on my part. I really should, I got a little greedy and really should have just gone for one shell so I did not take any shots back. But we're, we're gonna go ahead, and we're not gonna worry about that last shell. We're gonna go ahead and go for this shot right here. And we unfortunately aren't able to get the second one back in, but I am gonna pull around here, trying to keep cover from in that KPF and any tank destroyers around this ridge. So we now have two shells reloaded, so we have enough damage to do quite a bit. I want to clear that KPF. He's, he's wreaking havoc. He's taken out that IS-7, and we are down two tanks. We got all three shells loaded up. I think I might just go for a couple snipes, and looks like we have the Kronwagen. And I'm trying to see if I can get one of those uh, TDs spotted up so that maybe I can get some shots into them. Looks like this E-75 is gone for the push. I might try to sneak a shot in, and unfortunately we aren't able to penetrate that. Um, I think we missed, actually. Um, I hope this E-75 does not push too aggressively because we are losing tanks very quickly and we don't have much left. So only the Sheridan over there, we really need to make something happen on this side because there is not much 
we can do whenever we're this down um, this far. Not sure what our T30 is doing. He really has not done anything the whole game. Hopefully he starts to realize he needs to hopefully push. I mean, he is fantastic if he goes hold down right here. That is one thing that, ooh, well, he did do something right there. That I always find about T30s. Why do they never, they're so good at going hold down. Why do they never do it? They always just camp. They, they're so good at going hold down. It really seems like such a waste. So we're going to try to kill this WZ. Um, if we can pull in. Ah, man, RNG, come on. Looks like RNG is not liking me today. We're just going to go for that cron fog. And, oh, my goodness, that is horrific. Um, so, yeah, you can see that the tank is pretty bad on the DPMs. And we really couldn't do much this game just because, I mean... You could tell. There wasn't much we could do. I mean, we're down to just me and the T-30. And yeah, we're, we're going to get wrecked. So, yeah, there wasn't really much we could do right there. So, um, I'm going to go for one more game because, yeah, that was a pretty horrific battle. The T-30 is just going to die immediately. So, I'm going to skip ahead to the second battle. So, I did skip ahead here to the finish of the battle. We didn't do the most damage, only 1,500. So we're definitely going to go for another one because I really did not get to show the strengths. That really was just showing the weaknesses, which is, you know, the DPM. And so, yeah. Another thing you got to keep in mind when you're going to hold down, do not turn your turret like I did because you're, yeah, you got no side armor on the turret. So um, we're going for another one here. Hopefully this one will go better. Um, maybe our team will as well not die so quickly. But after that kind of unfortunate game back there, I am... Hopefully we can turn it around here and get a nice game. I want to show you guys just why I like the tank in the first place. Of course, I guess I can say that game was showing you um, the weak spot, the weak points of the tank um, about that DPM. Also, um, the penetration, I mean the AP penetration is okay. I guess APCR, as you can see, but it does get trolled that accuracy on that WZ as, I could, as you could see. So you do got to keep in mind the accuracy on this tank really isn't all that good. Four auto reloads. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, this is stacked. We have four auto, okay, this is ridiculous. Um, five auto loaders slash auto reloaders. Red is in for quite the pickle because that is not something that you want to have <laughs> when you're facing um, an enemy team. So I want to get this T57 out. He does, of course, have an auto loading not an auto reloader an auto loading clip and he can do just as much damage as us which is a massive 1200 damage so we're gonna put one shot into him right there if we can get around and get a nice he um i'm not gonna risk it go for this one as the um, kill shot and a nice so that's where this tank really excels as you can see getting out that clip damage it really does destroy the enemy very quickly um Let's see if I can reload up here. And this is where an auto reloader comes in handy. I already have this shell loaded. I would never have that before. I would definitely have not gotten that shot out so early like that. Now we're just going to sit back and wait for another shell to reload. I don't think we're going to get this kill. And no, we're not. So we're going to allow probably another shell to reload up in the clip, which is just why I love this tank. The ability just to sit back while, your team, while somebody is maybe hiding from you, you are just getting stronger and stronger with more and more shells in your clip. Looks like the mediums have pushed around, so we are going to need to maybe try to clip out this Sheridan or this FV. Looks like this grill has pushed up pretty aggressive, which is interesting. He is, of course, a grill. Not your average grill gameplay. Um, we're going to push across because that grill has now died. And there's pretty much only the Sheridan over here. I'm going to sneak a shot up into that Sheridan, and hopefully we can get one more. And, oop. And... Whoa, okay, I lagged right there. Sorry about that. I did lag a lot. I'm going to get one more shell in. He is going to be taken out, though. And as you can see, we have really, really wrecked that enemy team. We are They're already down to just two tanks remaining. Um, I'm not sure how much damage we've done. I think our damage total is around 2,000 or so. Now just the FE and the Kronvagen left. I'm going to wait until hopefully I get this second shell reloaded. And we are going to pump out two shells into this guy. So we got two shells reloaded, and oh boy, some more lag right there. That was fantastic. We are going to get one shell in at least, though. I'm um, not sure why my game was so laggy. But as you can see, much better battle here. Still not the most damage, but as you can see how the tank really excels with getting out that massive clip damage, then just working with the one shell, two shells, and still being very effective with that. So, 
yeah, that's the Kronwagen, everybody, and why I like it. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.